22-year-old Oscar and 19-year-old Luca will be mining underground alone, six kilometres away on their Turner's Rush claim. Oh, no. Well, I feel a bit of pressure. We haven't found any opal yet. And Mark and Dad, like, they got a lot to do. And, you know, the last thing I want to do is be a burden to them at all. As we come in, I'm going to start angling down because the roof's dropping there, so I'm going to chase it down. I'm going to clean all this floor up, and I'll need a keen eye from you too because okay. I reckon it's going in the floor, personally, because yeah. all the traces have been down my way, so... Yeah. Right, if you want to pull out of there, I'll get this digger ready and cool. we'll get stuck in. It's still a bit tricky because I'm still learning on the bogger, but as I'm getting used to it, I'm able to work a bit quicker. The remote-controlled bogger enables Luca to shift as much as 500 kilograms of dirt per load. I'm kind of sacrificing my time at uni to be here to mine, to help Dad out. It's pretty important we get those benefits out of it, find some opal and keep the whole thing going. This is a, a super digger built by Dad from scratch. It's a two and a half tonne machine, 30 tonne of breakout pressure and, you know, you can dig a truckload, let's say 10, 20 tonne in a matter of a, an hour or two. The whole, you know, gamble this year was that we're trying to expand at the same time that we would need to find Opal. Getting Agi set up, hiring things like cranes, paying for diesel for all the machinery, uh, all of those things, you know, cost that up and we need to be earning a lot of money to keep up with it. Well, brother. One extreme to the next, mate. Puts a spanner in the works for today. Yep. I won't be doing any welding in this. At the Chiels camp, four kilometres from their underground mine. Forecast rain has arrived. Predicted to settle in for at least 48 hours across the Grawan Opal fields. I think the only thing we can do is probably give the kids a hand underground. Yeah, I reckon so, mate. See if we can dig something out of the face. It's the only option, eh? How's hey, going, kids? Hey, how you going? We got washed out up there. Oh, really? We're going down into the floor, so it's harder to see, so it's probably worth having an extra few spotters anyway. Too easy. Oh, uh, it's good to have you, boys. Just have to dig and dump, and hopefully we'll come across something in the face down here. You do miss stuff. That's why we have to wash, because you don't miss anything once you start washing it. Oh, whoa! Holy Oi, Dad, Mark, come up and look at this. Jeez, that's bright, eh? The green orange. And there's more here. Green there. It'd be interesting to see what's below this when she bogs out. Yeah, better get out of the way. My <clears throat> oh, oh. foot's killing me. Robin, I don't know what's going on with it. Ooh, that's a spider bite it's or a spider something. Spider bite eh? or something, mate. Yeah. Oh, jeez. We better get your top side, mate, and get that checked out, eh? I saw this morning when I put my boots on. Nothing in my boot. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's nasty. Needing Opal to fund the expansion of their operation, Chris Cheel's efforts to help his children mine underground have been derailed by a spider bite. Oscar, I'm going to have to tap out, I think, mate. Oh, it's like a bite, eh? Yeah, I think it's a spider bite. If it's a white-tailed spider, if you don't get them tended, they've got to amputate. Either that or a redback. Yeah, redback. Well, there's so many out there's here. There's so many around. Yeah. One just there. Both the venomous redback and white-tailed spiders are native to Australia, and severe bites can require medical attention. Well, let's get you out of here, right? Yeah, right. I used to be right, kids. We'll keep digging. There's some unreal trace. Yeah. There. Oh, no, I don't really want to go. But you got him. You, you can't. You got him, mate. You can't ignore it. Yeah, we'll just dig out some red and black stuff, eh? Look yeah. after yourself, bro. Yeah, right. You'd be safe. Yeah, we will. He's going to take care of himself. I know he pretty easily would just ignore something like this, but, yeah, I'm glad we're all here to tell him and make sure that he goes and gets it checked out. So Oscar and I at least are set up here to just keep digging. I just want to find some find some opal for, for Dad and Mark, eh? Yeah, I know. You want to have a look at the faces? Yeah. This colour there, if that thickens up, we're on dollars straight away. Plenty of potch sitting on black too. Wow. Yeah, wow, that's stunning, isn't it? Tiniest little bit, hey. I'll just pop the bottom of that out, mm -hmm. right? Because it's just sitting in there. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, hold on a second. Oh, nice. Look at that. What there's is it? bloody red in there, look. Oh, there's a red bar through that. Yeah, it's sis. beautiful. Oh, my God. I wonder whether there's more in the face. Well, we've had a bloody good look in there. What do you reckon we, um, call it? Dad's probably due back from hospital. Yeah. Let's go check on Dad. Head up. Is he? I feel useless, eh? At the Chiel's Grawan camp, Mark and Chris have returned from the doctor. Babe, can you grab that? Thank you. With Chris's partner, Elizabeth Gale. This is my fiance, Elizabeth. My best mate, soulmate. We've been together for about three years now, and she's also coming in real handy at the moment. Well, I <laughs> can't do much for myself. Looking after you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we've only known each other for what? No, nearly 45 years. 45 years. Sometimes life doesn't work out how you plan it, but it, it works out for the best. All right, though, we'll go show the old fella what we got, eh? Yeah. Hopefully he's OK. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hey, big fella. G'day. Hey, how are you going? Good, how are you? Oh, I've been better. Oh, what'd they say in there? Ah, it's a bite, a spider bite, they think. Antibiotics and I can't do much, apparently. Still pretty sore? Sure. That is killing me. How did you go? I'd love to say we got a handful of red and blacks here and made thousands of dollars, but yeah, look, you have a look. We came across heaps and heaps of potch, so it's good, um, good times there. Bright green up in there. There'll be a bit of a stone in there, I reckon. Our goal for the week was to cover the crane, cover diesel costs, and also your trips to and from town. Oscar and Luca have unearthed a small amount of crystal opal, predominantly blue and green with flashes of red. It's in the rough. How much were you thinking, mate? About 900 bucks, there, at least. Oh, well, I think it'll cut that easy enough. Well done. Well, Thank you. Luca. Well done. No, that's awesome, kids. I'm proud of you. Thanks for stepping up for me. We got our asses kicked this week. There's some good signs underground. So we got an A barrel moved. So we just got to get you healthy now and yeah, get sure. stuck back into it. Yeah, that's it. Reset and go again. Cheers. Cheers for that. Cheers.